Hey everybody, today in this video we're going to be making chicken and broccoli in the Instant Pot. Let's begin. We're going to steam the uh, broccoli first. We're just going to add a half cup of water. And we're going to add the broccoli. Make sure to cut the broccoli where it's big enough to stay on the trivet. And we have here around 6 cups of uh, broccoli. Okay, we're going to put the cover on. And we're going to press steam. And we're going for 0 minutes. And then uh, we're just going to let it start. You can have it on from 0 to 1 minute. At 1 minute, it will be a little bit more tender. Right now it's preheating and uh, we'll be back. Okay, it's ready. We had it on steam on 0 minutes. And uh, let's uh, depressurize it. On steam mode for zero minutes, we basically use the preheating process to cook the broccoli. Okay, the red pin has dropped back down. It's safe to open. Okay, we're gonna take the broccoli out. Okay, we have the uh, broccoli in the bowl. We're gonna put that on the side. We're going to prepare the chicken and the uh, ginger. We have here one tablespoon of uh, ginger. And we're going to shave off the skin first. There you go, we shaved off the skin of the ginger. And we're just going to remove the skin. And you just want to chop it up. Okay, that's one tablespoon of ginger. Just gonna put it in here. Okay, we have the one tablespoon of ginger in the cup. We're just gonna put four tablespoons of soy sauce. So that's four tablespoons. By the way, I'm using four tablespoons of the uh, Kikkoman low sodium soy sauce. Okay, next we're gonna add two tablespoons of pure sesame seed oil. One, two. We're gonna need three tablespoons of oyster sauce. No, that's one, two. Okay, that's three tablespoons of oyster sauce. Next, we're gonna add three tablespoons of minced garlic. One, two, three. We're gonna need two tablespoons of uh, Light brown sugar. One and two. Two tablespoons of brown sugar. And also, the last thing what we're gonna add is uh, one teaspoon of brown white pepper. Go. We'll stir that in with everything else. Okay. Now we're going to prepare the uh, chicken breast meat. We have here three chicken breast meat. We're just going to cut them into chunks. Okay, there we go. We're going to season it with some garlic salt. And sprinkle it on generously. Turn it over. Real quick. Same thing. Garlic salt. Okay, we're set. And uh, let's start cooking the chicken and the onions. Okay, we're gonna turn it on to saute mode. And uh, we're just gonna let it heat up first. And uh, we'll be back. Okay, we allowed it to heat up on saute mode. And now we're just gonna add some olive oil. We're gonna add first, we're gonna add the onions. Let that cook up a little bit. And now we're gonna add the uh, chicken.
spread them out. We're just gonna add just a little bit more oil. Okay, we're gonna flip it over. Okay, it's looking good. Now we're gonna add three cups of chicken broth. There you go, that's three cups of chicken broth. It's looking good, and now we're gonna add the pre-made sauce we made. Now we're just gonna stir everything up a little bit. This is what it looks like before we close it up. Okay, it's fully locked. Now we're gonna go on pressure cook. Cancel, pressure cook. And we're going for six minutes. Okay, it's preheating and uh, we'll be back once the timer starts. Okay, it's preheated and uh, the timer has started. We'll be back in six minutes. Okay, it's been six minutes, and now we're gonna release the pressure. Let's push on this button right here. I'm just gonna move the camera back a little bit. Okay, the red pin has dropped back down. It's safe to open. It's depressurized. Ooh, looks good. We're gonna set it to saute mode and start cooking the vegetables. Okay, now that's cooked, we're just gonna remove just a little bit of the liquid. Okay, we move, we're gonna remove around half a cup of the liquid. We have here, we have here a quarter cup of water, and we're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch in it. And we're gonna mix in around a table, one tablespoon and a half of uh, cornstarch with a quarter cup of water. We're gonna use this cornstarch liquid to thicken the sauce. We have here one cup of uh, carrots. And add that in. And we're gonna add the broccoli. And stir everything all together. We're gonna flatten it a little bit so that it absorbs some of the sauce. For the cornstarch and water mixture, you can add more or less depending on how uh, thick you want the sauce to be. I think I want it just a little bit more thicker, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more cornstarch. There you go. Thickening up pretty good. And we're set. We also made some white rice. We're just gonna take some and put it on the plate. Okay, now let's uh, take some of the broccoli and put it on the plate. Looking good. Okay, this is what we have today. Chicken and broccoli made in the Instant Pot pressure cooker. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like and subscribe for more future recipes. Here guys, have a bite. And thanks for watching.